Hi, my name is Dr. Paul Choi. I am the director of Los Angeles Endoscopy Center. I am also a fellow member of American Gastroenterological Association. In this presentation, I'll be discussing the treatment of colon cancer. The colon is a part of the digestive tract that connects the stomach and small intestine to the anus. Colon cancer is a cancerous growth that occurs in the lining of this colon. It is an extremely common problem worldwide with over 1 million new cases of colon cancer diagnosed annually. It is thought that both environmental factors such as diet and smoking as well as genetic factors play important role in the development of colon cancer. The diagnosis of colon cancer often involves colonoscopy, an examination of the colon using an instrument called colonoscope that enables an evaluation of the inner lining of the colon. If necessary, a biopsy or sampling of cancer tissue can be performed during the examination. Once the diagnosis of colon cancer is made, the stage of cancer is initially assessed using a radiologic examination called CAT scan. It helps determine the size, location, and the spread of the cancer. Routine blood tests including complete blood count, liver function tests, and a tumor marker called CEA as well as chest x-ray are obtained during the initial evaluation. There are four stages of colon cancer. Colon cancer is defined as stage 1 if the cancer tissue is confined to the lining of the colon. In stage 2 colon cancer, the cancer tissue has invaded the layers of colonic wall but has not yet spread beyond the wall. In stage 3 colon cancer, the cancer tissue has penetrated the entire thickness of the colonic wall and has spread to nearby lymph nodes. In stage 4 colon cancer, the cancer has spread to other organs such as the liver. The staging of colon cancer is important since the prognosis of affected individual is highly dependent on cancer stage. For cancer that has not spread, the surgery is the treatment of choice. In fact, surgery may be the only treatment necessary for patients with stage 1 or 2 colon cancer. However, some with stage 2 cancer may elect to receive chemotherapy. Following surgery, stage 3 cancer requires chemotherapy, usually for about 6 months. The most commonly used chemotherapy is called Folfox, consisting of 5-FU, leucovorin, and oxaliplatin. Some may also elect to receive additional treatment with a new class of cancer therapy such as Erbitux or Avastin. Treatment for stage 4 colon cancer has to be individualized as a complete cure is unlikely, although Many often also receive surgery and chemotherapy. Following these treatments, a careful follow-up is recommended even when cancer is determined to be in complete remission. Therefore, periodic evaluations including routine blood tests, CEA, colonoscopy, and CAT scan are often advised. Thank you for listening.